The magnetic field in an electromagnetic wave traveling through vacuum has amplitude of 4.00 times 10 to the minus 11 tesla and frequency 120 gigahertz. Find the amplitude and wavelength of the electric field. Now remember, electric and magnetic fields have a special relationship. The change of electric flux will create a changing magnetic field, and a changing magnetic flux will create a changing electric field in a process that's self-sustaining. That process allows us to have and perceive electromagnetic waves. So let's say we have an electric field oscillating parallel to the y-axis. So this oscillation is sinusoidal, first oscillating in the positive y direction, then in the negative y direction, then in the positive y direction, on and on. And this oscillation is traveling to the right. Well, this changing electric field creates a changing magnetic field that oscillates with the same frequency has the same wavelength, except it's perpendicular to the direction of the electric field. So the magnetic field oscillations are parallel to the z-axis at right angles to the electric field oscillations. So with this, we have a traveling wave a traveling electromagnetic wave that is traveling to the right. Now the relationship that is special, or one of the many special relationships, is these two quantities. When we take the ratio of the magnitude of the electric field to the magnetic field, that ratio is equal to the speed of light. It's constant, and this wonderful constant in nature has led us to so many, many different discoveries and realizations about our universe. Well, for the electromagnetic wave we have in the problem, we're given that the amplitude of the, electromag of the magnetic field is 4.00 times 10 to the minus 11 tesla. We're also given that the frequency of oscillation is 120 gigahertz. Using this information, we have to find the amplitude of the electric field and the wavelength of the electric field. Well, the amplitude of the electric field is easy. That is just the product of the amplitude of the magnetic field and the speed of light. So the amplitude of the magnetic field is 4.00 times 10 to the minus 11 Tesla. The speed of light is 2.9979 times 10 to the eighth meters per second. And when I plug this into my calculator, I get 1.20 times 10 to the minus 2 volts per meter, where I've worked out that a Tesla meter per second is equivalent to a volt per meter. So here is the amplitude of our electric field. Now we have to find the wavelength of our electric field. And you may remember that there's a relationship between the wavelength of a wave, its frequency, and the speed of the wave. The speed of a wave is equal to the product of its wavelength and frequency. Well, being an electromagnetic wave, we know its speed is the speed of light, and that's equal to the product of the, wave, of the wavelength and the frequency of the electromagnetic wave. So to find the wavelength of the electric field, we just have to take the speed of light and divide it by the frequency of oscillations of our electromagnetic wave. 
So this is 2.9979 times 10 to the 8th meters per second over 120 gigahertz. When I plug this into my calculator, I get that the wavelength is equal to 2.50 millimeters. So this is a very short wave, but that makes sense because if you have a large frequency, you're going to have a small wavelength.